Hello everybody. I wanted to show y'all my new refrigerator. Look at this thing. It's from 1956, General Electric. Oh man. Y'all need to see the interior of this thing. Look at this. Is that not groovy? And look at this. Ah, I love it. I mean, the interior is in great condition. Got a little place for butter, although that's not really gonna fit all my butter. Isn't that funny how they have a little egg spot? Our other old time fridge has that too. But I love this handle. It shuts so nice. Now Sophie's not gonna be able to get in the refrigerator. And the freezer. Pretty baby blue. It's tiny. That's one of the things I was not sure about when I saw this at the antique store. But we decided that we really want to get away from using the freezer so much anyway. We want to start doing more fermentation and canning. So this will push me to start doing that more. <laughs> I honestly don't have that much stuff in my freezer that really needs to be there. I need to clean it out. So I'm gonna be cleaning this up, sanding it down, and then I'm gonna be painting it pink, of course. <laughs> and I think it's gonna look amazing. I'm so excited. So there's definitely some rust. I'm not sure if this is rust or what. It looks like rust. So I'm gonna be sanding it down real good. That way I can get a nice, good finish on it. But these handles, just super cool. Now I think this, this refrigerator, they had to discontinue these kinds of handles because kids used to lock themselves in here and then they couldn't get out. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that around here. <laughs> yes, Sophie, our dog, is right there. We have to have a child lock on our refrigerator now because she will nuzzle her nose into the door and open it and we've lost a lot of bacon and a lot of good stuff that way from her doing that so it will be nice to not have to have a child lock on our refrigerator it's just so cute I can't get over it and I just love this is this not the coolest thing Love it and look at this it's like this fridge was made for me little wine racks here i'm gonna have to keep that stocked this little acid resisting sticker here nate said we can get these online but this one's actually in pretty good condition metal isn't that nice i love all that nope not really any plastic in here it's all solid I love it. We are going to be going to the antique store again. I'm getting a little, I love antiques. They've been, I've been finding some really good deals. I really want to get a treadle for my great grandmother's old sewing machine that she had converted to electric back in the day, but she always wanted to make sure that it could be converted back to treadle because she wasn't quite sure about this whole new electric thing and how she was gonna like it, so. But I wanna go ahead and convert that sewing machine back to treadle. I would like to try using it that way. It would be kind of neat. So that's, I found a treadle machine at that antique store and we're gonna bring the trailer over there and go ahead and pick it up. And then of course I had to, I love oil lamps. This is my second one. I just, it was on, it was half off and I so I had to buy it. <laughs> and this, is this not cool? Do you guys know what this is for? This is for shredding cabbage. I've always wanted one and this one was in such a good deal. It was like 20 bucks. So I went ahead and bought it and I plan on making lots of sauerkraut this year. I've got lots of cabbage out in the garden 
and I think this will make my job easier. Nate's gonna fix it up for me, you know, sharpen these blades up. But I think that would be kind of fun to use. So anyway, we're gonna head over to that antique store and pick up my shuttle. Okay, we're at my favorite antique store. Can we go this way? Yeah. here. Okay, good. It's there. What is it? Candy jars. Oh. This place looks cleaned up since we came last, doesn't it? It's like stuff's missing. Like quite a bit of stuff. This sign is too much. Evaluation Center for Disturbed Women. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> Glad I didn't grow up back then. Now what on earth are these? It's a filtration bowl. What? what a filtration this? bowl? Yeah. I have no idea. What on earth is this? Oh, a butter turner. Huh. That'd probably make butter turning a lot easier, right? You can just get to turn it. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I've never turned butter. All right, so I'm going to get this tag off, and then they're, they usually just move stuff out for us. Now there's a sewing machine in here. Get this stuff. So yeah, we'll be taking this one out and putting my nanas in here. This one looks a bit, quite a bit older than my nanas. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna be oiling this wood up and Getting this working down here. It's got all the pieces, it's yeah. just rusted up. Yeah, it just needs some cleaning up. Alright, I'm gonna take this tag off and we'll buy it. Alright, so we've got the treadle and then on our way out we ended up finding a vanity for Lily's room. We've been we've been wanting one for her room. And it was on sale. It was a really good deal. So we couldn't pass yeah, it up. The two pieces that hold the mirror on. I think they've got it back there. It's kind of cold outside, but I'll go see if they need help. All right, we got home. It's all in one piece. <laughs> I was really nervous. On the, I always get nervous when we're hauling stuff on the trailer. I just picture it flying off and exploding into a thousand pieces. And there were so many train tracks on the way home. I mean, it wouldn't be Georgia if we didn't have train tracks everywhere. But we made it, and I'm excited. We measured these sewing machines, so here's the one that was on here, and this is my Nana's, my great-grandmother's, that we will be converting back to the treadle. And once my Nana's sewing machine's in here, I'll put a little picture over here of her. So yes, it will be great. But for now, I'm going to go and work on that refrigerator. We'll see how far I get today and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all pretty and pink. <laughs> all right, we're ready to paint. I masked everything, masked everything off. I had to use trash bags. I forgot to get plastic. You see, I got all my trash bags here. It's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I'm excited to go ahead and start painting and see how this turns out. I will show you all when I'm done. And then hopefully by next week, we can move her inside to the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna get painting. Nate got me this little thing, it's kinda cool. I've never used one of these before and I'm scared. So I'm gonna do this side first because this side I don't see in the kitchen, um, just in case I mess up. <laughs> 
so. Did you shake the can really well? I did. Or did you just shake it a couple times? I shaked it. I'll shake it again. Is that good enough? No? I never shake paint that long. Gosh, goodness gracious. Can I be done now? Read the label. Don't say anything about Directions. Shaking. see any directions. Read all directions before beginning. Use outdoors between 50 and 90. What? See? Hang on a second. See? I never shake it. I mean, I might shake it a little bit, but you're asking me to shake it so forever. Yeah, they usually say like shake it for two minutes or whatever. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, My bad. Okay. You know what, can we, let's put some tape on this little black wire right here. So it doesn't turn pink. You're killing me, Smalls. I just want to paint it already. <laughs> I hate this blue tape. It's not very fun to work with. When it's cold, it's even worse. Well, be it's cold. I'm scared. Let's do this, though. Oh, that's not that bad. It's working. You know what, this little handle's nice. I might need the stool out here so I can do the top. I'll do the top for you. This is gonna be again. so pretty. Good. Now when you get to an area like this, see how you're turning these pink? Yeah. I'll go this Stand way. at this angle and shoot that way. Okay. That's scary. Get closer. Here. You should. I'm gonna get it all pink. Yeah. to have a candy pink refrigerator. <laughs> Sophie, you're making me nervous. I feel like she's gonna go that way. <laughs> so, when we're gonna let it dry and then I wanna go ahead and buff it, I wanna make it really nice and I want it to look really good. But for right now, we're finishing it. It's just getting cold, it's dropping temperature. I think I'm gonna go make some pizza and we're gonna watch Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street tonight. Yeah, anyway, but happy Halloween, you guys. I'm hoping to upload this and it will be Halloween. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time.